Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this video we're going to have a look at how we move between Final Cut Pro and Descript, which is one of the new AI video editing applications that are coming out. So basically, I've been experimenting with this a little bit, and I found that when I'm doing a screen recording, so I'm just screen recording directly in QuickTime Player, my screen recording is coming out at a strange frame rate. So basically, I think because of the way QuickTime works, it's actually using a kind of variable frame per second. And so you end up with these strange frame rates. So I've got 55.05 frames per second. And what I found was when I brought this into this script and then tried to export out into Final Cut Pro, it was not accepting the reconnection of the media. So I could do my editing in Descript and we'll have a look at that in a second, but then it wouldn't be able to actually bring that back into Final Cut Pro. So what I've done is I've created a new timeline. I've dropped my 55.05 frames per second clip onto that timeline, but I've set the timeline itself up as what is selected here, a 60 frames per second and then I've exported out the entire screen recording in this format. So it's conformed it to a stricter frames per second, so 60 frames per second. And then when you actually go into the script and come back out, it does the reconnection a bit better. So that's what we're gonna run through now, is how to reconnect the media when we bring out the Final Cut Pro XML from Descript and then into Final Cut Pro. So we'll jump into Descript here, and you can see this really neat editing tool. So as I'm playing this through, this last option will do something similar to the connected. This last option here will do something. So you can see basically the way this works, for those that haven't seen it before, is I've got my text on the left here. It's done a transcription of everything, and I can edit by selecting the text. So you can see there's repetition here of this last option and the end of that sentence. So basically I can delete all this and it will make the edit on the timeline. So you can see it's actually selected on the timeline. So if I press delete, my timeline down here has compressed and I can play this through. So this last option here will do something similar. This last option here will do something similar. And actually there's a double repetition here. So I'm gonna delete again. So you can see I can select it again, delete, and then we'll just play through one more time. And a plus. So this last option here will do something similar. So here in the script, we basically have the transcription of our video on the left-hand side here, and we can use this to edit. So this means that we can kind of quickly scan through our text. We can see any repetitions that might be happening. If we want to edit any gaps out, then we just grab one word and drag it back. So it works in a really different way. So you can see we've got a bit of repetition here in these sentences. If I double click here, it's going to highlight this bit up in my timeline. So I've got this this last option here, piece of text, is a repetition of the next sentence. I'm gonna delete this and we'll see how this works. So this last option here will do something similar to the insert edit, except it will overwrite what was there. Okay, so basically we're deleting the text and it's deleting what's on the timeline. And then we can also highlight a word and drag it back to tighten things up as well. So we can play this through. Except it will overwrite what was there before. So if we select this clip and we use. And again, we can tighten up the timing of things. We can look for those gaps. It makes my so we can just kind of tighten things up. And so basically, we're making edits by either moving the text or by selecting text here and then deleting things. And there's some other options in there too. Now, I don't want to edit only in Descript. I want to bring things back into Final Cut Pro once I've finished the work that I need to do here. So we're going to come up to Publish on the top right, and then we're going to go to Export, and you can see we can export the timeline in the Final Cut Pro XML format, and we can include the media files in the export, but actually I've just got one screen recording here so I don't need to include that. I've got that already. So I'm gonna hit export. It's gonna ask where I wanna save it. We'll save it into a folder that we've made here for the Descript to Final Cut Pro tutorial. We'll hit export. Timeline exports can be pretty quick. And then we can jump into Final Cut Pro and I'll make a new event here just to kind of keep everything a little bit contained. So we'll call this Descript. And then I'm gonna to go to file and import. We'll import XML. You can see I have my folder. This is the folder that the script made. It's got the XML in there. I can highlight that and import it. And then we have this in file. So basically I'm gonna double click on here. You can see all the edits and the transcription in there that Final Cut Pro has imported. 
all I'm missing is that original media. So I'm going to highlight a clip or any clip down on the timeline. There's only one clip we'll be reconnecting to and do Shift and F. And that is going to create that clip in my library up here. So with this, the missing file clip created, I can go to File and Relink Files to Original Media. And we're just selecting this one file. We'll locate as selected. And then we're going to look for the media that we want to re connect so it's this FCP connect and you remember I exported out the original screen recording which is this as a 60 frames per second recording so just to get that to match nicely so I'll click choose it will reconnect it and relink it nicely and now I have all my edits and the transcription right in Final Cut Pro. We're going to have a look at how we can get some clips down the timeline and in particular we're going to have a look at the so I've just been using this for a few days, um, but it seems really slick the way that it's selecting the text in Descript. And then now that I've figured out how to get this from Descript into Final Cut Pro, I know I can use all the graphic elements and other tools that I like to use in Final Cut Pro for refining my edits in Final Cut Pro. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this workflow. It is kind of bypassing the limitations of the, the 4K editing that you can do online Descript. So because we're coming back into Final Cut Pro where the free version of Descript kind of limits me to only being able to export out 720p, if I export out the XML, it's allowing me to create a 4K timeline and then do my final export out from Final Cut Pro. So I hope there's a nice little overview of how to get from these new AI tools that are emerging back into your non-linear editor. And also this is kind of a nice little sneak peek at some different ways in which we're gonna be able to edit video in the future. Hopefully some of these tools arrive in Final Cut Pro and other video editing applications on the desktop. The other nice things that I've seen in Descript are things like being able to automatically remove the ums and ahs and pauses that you get when you're recording these kind of dialogue based pieces. But this workflow seems to work pretty well, getting the XML out from Final Cut Pro as long as you make sure that you actually export out this 60 frames per second. So if you're doing a screen recording, make sure that you drop it on a Final Cut Pro timeline. That is 60 frames per second. The 55.05 frames per second timeline that QuickTime records originally on my computer just wouldn't play with Final Cut Pro. I had to kind of re-export that so that workflow from Final Cut Pro to Descript and then back would work. So if anyone has any thoughts or comments on these new technologies that are emerging in terms of AI, I would love to hear them in the comments. And if you do have any questions about Final Cut Pro, then please do leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.